Hi, this is Patricia Love from Love Healing Hearts. Today we're going to talk about faith. Faith. Faithful faith. <laughs> Sounds crazy. But listen, there's a scripture that says a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. You know, sometimes life can make us feel like we are taking one step forward and two steps backwards. And it seems like we can't get ahead for falling behind. But I found that some of that is circumstantial and some of it is a lack of faith. The reason I say some of it is a lack of faith is because we oftentimes will put our hands to doing something and as soon as we run into an obstacle the first thing we'll start to think is oh this must not be God's will so you drop the ball or you lay it down and you move on to something else and you pick that up and say oh this looks like a good thing and you say a few prayers over it and you move forward. And the first couple of days is exciting because you're still in the honeymoon period. But the next thing you know, it too has problems. And as soon as you run into a few uh, roadblocks and bumps, dips, detours, you're ready to lay that down as well. So what you end up doing is being one of those people that start projects but never finish. You start this, you start that, and you've got about a slew, maybe 10 or 15 projects that you have begun over a 10 or 20 year period, but none have ever gotten completed. And it's not saying that there's anything wrong with you, but the issue is sometimes when you start running into buzz saws, the first thing you think of is, well, this must, not, this must not be the thing I'm supposed to do. Well, listen, if you have a car that's stalled, the car is meant to get you somewhere. But there are times, let's say a stick shift, there are times you have to get out of that car that's supposed to take you somewhere. And you have to get behind it or next to it and have somebody in the back help you push that bad boy. Now, you're not supposed to push a car. The car's supposed to carry you. But you've run into a bus saw. You've run into an obstacle. The car has stalled on you and it's not starting. So you have to push it. And you push and the initial push is hard. Oh my goodness. It takes all the strength you have to get that thing moving. But then once those wheels start turning, and you're giving it all you've got, all your energy, all your strength. It starts rolling a little faster and a little faster. And before you know it, the car has picked up momentum. And if you can get it in the right spot and the two of you can start running with that car, before you know it, the car will get away from you. You have to jump in that seat, in the driver's seat, pop the clutch and start that baby up. Well, then the car will get you where it's going. But if you get out of the car, take the key out of the ignition, close the door, and walk away from your car because it's stalled, well, does that make sense to you? You're just going to leave a perfectly good car sitting there because you don't feel like pushing it. And you never go back to it. That's what we do in life with our little projects, our ideas, our, our witty inventions. We give up too quickly. If you would just know the plans that God has for you, you have to really ask God to give you a determination because there are times that we give up easily because we're afraid. Ask God to take away your fears. 